So the topic for today's post is, you may say, I'm not a dreamer. And um, basically, the idea came from some work I've been doing on myself for the past couple months. After graduating seminary, I was doing a lot of thinking about what type of minister I intend to be. I also was thinking about the different things that come up in my own life, because I've seen enough time where ministers project their own stuff onto their parishioners and onto the world, and I have no intention of being that type of minister. What my intentions are to be present with the people that I engage with on a daily basis so that we can both be lifted to a higher place within our own consciousness. That's my intention. So as a part of that effort, I started looking at stuff about myself. I mentioned some of it when I, I did the post on um, turning filth into fertilizer. So at any rate, I've been doing some of that kind of work, and some of the things that came up is I started thinking about how much people have a lot of dreams and expectations that are unfulfilled in their lives, and how so many people feel like their lives are worthless because they didn't line up with the story that they told themselves about how their lives are going to be. If you've ever been in a relationship that broke up, you know what I'm talking about. If you ever worked for a company for a long time, thinking you were going to retire and get that nice watch, bling! and it never happened, you know what I'm talking about. If you've been in a partnership and the person cheated, you know what I'm talking about. If you ever took a test and failed at it, you know what I am talking about. There's this disappointment that comes when reality does not match our expectations. And so when I think about the best way to deal with that, the way that I tell myself to deal with it is to try my best to be in the present and to allow the mystery of life to unfold and then as I engage and encounter reality, I shift and grow and expand in my consciousness and my awareness. And I just kind of go from there. But so many of us are so afraid of the unknown future that we project dreams and hopes and all this other stuff into it, not knowing really what's going to happen. And then when reality actually comes in our face, we don't know how to deal with it. And so my message to myself and to others is be as present as possible. If you can't be present, you know what? It's better to look into the past than it is to look too hard and project too hard into the future. Because if where you're standing in the present is unstable, all you're going to project into the future is an unstable future. However, the past, if for all its failings, is actually more stable. And that's why a lot of people get stuck in the past. But I'll explain this. Whatever happened in the past already happened. It's not moving. You know, I'm going to use the relationship example again. If your partner cheated on you and you found out, guess what? It already happened. So now it's static. There's no fear of if they will or if they won't. They already did. Now you can actually learn from it and you can see how you might have contributed to it and how you may have picked a partner that wasn't in alignment with your highest good or if you are, didn't, you know, you two, the two of you didn't work on a relationship together and try to evolve into a higher future. Or if you work for a company well past you, the time that you knew you should have left, and then they fire you, you can say, okay, I was worried about it. I can learn from it. That already happened. And I can grow and become better in the present. The future, it's a mystery. No matter how much we try to tell ourselves it isn't, it is. If you look at the, the economy of our country, no one projected that we're going to have this type of situation that people say that we have. Even though it might not be 100% true. People don't say, oh yeah, that's how it's going to be, and then not avoid it. People, Some people saw that we were going this direction because they might have been more clear, but other people made promises that were un they were unable to fulfill. Look at the banking industry. You know what I'm talking about. So let's try to learn from that. So here's another story, something I thought about, because I've had some relationships that haven't worked out, and I, I think about, okay, what, what did I do? How can I change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember I was talking to my Ex-wife, my former wife, I like to say, my former wife and now friend, um, I was talking to her mom when I first met her, and she asked me, what are your hopes and dreams? And I said, I don't have hopes and dreams. And her mom was just like, what kind of loser did you just bring here? But the reason why I said it was because the way I was framing that kind of question at that time in my life was that hope is really for people in a hopeless situation. Like, if you're feeling like, uh, 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 and there's nothing left but hope, I'm not saying anything's wrong with it, but I wasn't in a hopeless situation, so I didn't see the point for hope. Hope is when you're like, man, I can't see any way out. Looks like it's all over, but at least I got hope. I don't want to live like that. Forget hope. 
If I can avoid it, if I'm in a situation where I can't avoid hope, all right, thank God for hope. But if I'm in a better situation, like at the time, no bills, money in the bank, chilling, what am I going to have hope for? There's no reason. So dump hope. Now let's get on to dreams. All right. So I grew up, I'm seeing everybody, you know, they want to be rappers. Everybody like, has all this other stuff that they dream of being, but pretty much ain't get there, right? I said ain't. But anyway, so I'm saying to myself, why am I living my life dreaming? Why am I living my life awake? Why am I try to get all the dreams out of my head and try to see what's really happening and respond to that situation? I know there's one thing that Oprah said that I think is really cool. She said that she was living God's dream for her life. Not necessarily her own dream for her life. And I thought that was kind of poignant because the fact is God created me and made something awesome for sure. However, I don't 100% know this awesomeness that God created. So I'm spending my life trying to peel back the layers of whatever made cloud the awesomeness that I know exists within me. And then I can be what can be revealed to me is that which God created. And I encourage other people to do the same thing. Get to know yourself and all the stuff that you Jack, you know, I wish this happened, I wish that happened, I dream for this and I dream for that. You know, sure, you may be able to live into that, but it's going to be in a response to what's going on in the moment. If you're so caught up in dreams that you don't know what's going on and expectations, when reality comes, you're not going to know how to respond to it. If you do have the opportunity, you're not going to know how to respond to the opportunity because you're too busy dreaming. Because what happens when you dream when you sleep? I'm not trying to be dreaming. I'm trying to be awake and respond to the situation at hand. So, this here punching bag is going to be a demonstration of what it is I'm talking about. So, you see this punching bag. When you see a punching bag, you're going to think, well, it's used for a certain purpose. You see a person with gloves on like this, and you're going to say to yourself, okay, I see this person, I see this punching bag, I see them standing in front of it, I know how they're going to respond to it, right? That's what you expect. So, your brain is already programmed for a certain expectation. So, then you see me walking up to it. And I go, woo -hoo. No, no. you're going to be like, I mean, you might laugh now because it's a video and you see me acting stupid. But in reality, let's say that that was your boyfriend, right? Or somebody you were proud of, maybe your favorite boxer. And you saw him do that. You wouldn't be like, what? You'd be disappointed. You could laugh. You could be present with it and say, oh, I saw uh, whoever. Just like, eh. And you'll laugh, you can laugh at it because you're present with it. But if you have this expectation and you have this person that you expect that they're going to live up to your expectation, that's going to be a very disappointing response. See, on the other hand, you see somebody standing there and they come into it and they're like, Not a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. 